Praise God, brethren, all those who are watching me on UBC. I thank God who has given me this great opportunity to minister to you. And I also thank God who has opened this door for our nation, Uganda, to know the things that are holding people captive, things that has hindered people to enter into their destinies, things that has caused very many kinds of suffering of all kinds. God has mandated me to preach about total deliverance, how to usher individually, families, clans, societies, cities, our nation, continents, into deliverance so that they may enter into all their destinies. Now, many of my teaching bases about deliverance exposing the works of the devil, the dark areas where he operates, and even how and what to do to be delivered from those. The Spirit of the Lord has convicted me to share with you the following topic. Deliverance, all the causes, all the consequences of accustomed things. And our chapter will be in Joshua chapter 7. And by names of Pastor Blessed Moses Mutalaganya, from Deliverance for Christ's Go International Ministries. Our ministry is located at there at Maganjo, six and a half miles, Bombolot. Our telephone number is plus 256-773-3450-88. It's also on WhatsApp. Hey, you can get us. Let me go straight away to the scripture. We are going to read from Joshua, chapter 7, from verse 11. It goes on to say like this. My Bible has a heading called the sins of Achan. Let me start from verse 10. So the Lord said to Joshua, get up, why do you lie thus on your face? Israel has sinned, and they have also transgressed my, com my covenant, which I commanded them. For they have even taken some of the accursed things, and have both stolen that this and deceived, and they have also put it among their own staff. That's the law. Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turn their backs before their enemies, because they have become doomed to destruction. Neither will I be with you any more unless you destroy the accursed from among you. Get up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourself for tomorrow. Because that says the Lord God of Israel, there is an accursed things in your amidst. O Israel, you cannot stand before your enemies until you have taken the accursed things from among you. Praise God, brethren. There are things which has caused us to be liable for destruction. My Bible has used the word doomed for destruction. Briefly, allow me to share with you. You know that God, God had given this city to the Israelites under the command of Joshua. But even though God has given them this city to fight and overcome those enemies, but there are things they had in their lives that could not allow to fight their enemies. Brethren, we are going very many things. Many of us were dreaming when things are chasing us. Demons are chasing us. Why? We pray. We have prayed day and night. But those prayers has brought no any result. It's as if seeking God is in vain. Why? They are accursed things which we, are, we have in our lives, in our families, in our homes, in our marriages, in our cities, which has caused us to be reliable for destruction, which has acted as open doors for evil spirit to attack our lives. Blaming through this teaching, we shall discover to know and even to know what things we should deal with. That's the reason why. God has given us this topic so that we may know what to deal with. Brethren, in our families, there are very many buried things which are dedicated to evil spirits. Brethren, we know that God created everything, but anything qualifies to be satanic. If someone stood on his feet and dedicated, initiated, handed over that thing to evil spirit, there are very many molded images. There are very many carved images. There are very many witchcraft objects. There are very many which are accursed, which are dedicated to evil spirits. Some they were cut and deposited into our bodies through body cuttings. In the Western Uganda, they say in Shandago. Blathering. 
other things we bought them from markets more those carved images some they are stones from marine world then many things which we have in our homes which are accursed which act as the point of contact of evil spirits in our lives another point i would like to talk about is me personally by the grace of god i built in our house but i used to rent i re once rented many i've rented very many houses but i have found very many problems in those houses which i rented some houses are dedicated by the builders and some houses are dedicated by those who enter the house. Me personally, I used to be a builder. Many times, those bosses, the owners of the houses, used to tell us to dig at the middle of the foundation of the houses. They could plant their things which I could not tell. But you know, you, after that, you come and rent a house, you get very many problems. Why? That house has an accursed things. Now, if you pray in that house and you don't destroy that, a casting thing, all that thing dedicated to evil spirit. You can experience very many problems which I'll talk about. Now, brethren, we need deliverance. This topic is connected with idolatry. Many people have bought very many things from different parts of the country. Yes, when some they are dedicated to evil spirit. I remember once I was in Congo. I was in Congo. I had gone there to minister, to do missionary work. And I was hosted in a certain woman's home. She was bowing for some good years. She had prayed very many years, asking God, but there was no any answer. But one day the Holy Spirit revealed to me when I was standing with her in prayer that that carved image which was in her house was the one who was causing barrenness. I asked her, and she told me that she used to get dream when that uh, carved image which she bought in Rwanda was moving into her private parts, then she destroyed that thing and she conceived. Brethren, there are very many things which are in our house which are not good. I request you and I humbly request you, go and search into your house all the things you have. Some of them might be dedicated. Some need to be sanctified by the blood of Jesus. Some need to be destroyed. Some they are calendars. Some they are images of prominent peoples who are satanists, who were once, who used to worship songs, wild songs, secular songs. Now, brethren, I want to let you know that another thing which I would like to talk about, there was a home where I was hosted. The, that home was built on a grave. They were having very many diseases, very many problems. They were constantly harassed and attacked by evil spirits. But when we prayed, we were seeking God to know what the cause, the source, and the origin of the problem. The Lord revealed to us that that house was built on a graveyard. We prayed, we destroyed that gateway to hell, to hedges, to show it, and the house received the deliverance. Brethren, if, if I know all of us who are still going through varying kinds of problems. But we need to identify the source, the cause, the origin of the things that causes and toward the suffering and seizing pain. Brethren, we need to identify the source, the cause, the origin, and the foundation of the bondages of sins or problems which are afflicting our lives. Some may be in exhibiting a certain kind of sin. There is a sin you have failed to let it go. Maybe you have, um, you finicated, you fall into adultery with another man's wife and another man's husband. When that thing can cause you to be liable for destruction. There are very many things. Some there are sins into our minds. I want to humble request and speak to the nation of our nation, Uganda, and the church at large that we need to identify the sins in our lives. We need to identify the cast objects in our homes, in our families, that we may get rid of them and get deliverance. Another thing I would like to talk about, those are the cast things which were deposited into our bodies through body cuttings. You might have gone to a witch, and the witch told you that he want to, to immunize you from evil spirits, from witchcraft, from different sources. He took a razor blade, he cut your body with a triple, triple one. So he deposited there witchcraft, he loved there, 
and which we have entered into your body. I want to let you know, my brother, my sister, the Bible says the life of the flesh is in the blood. Now, if someone cuts you there and posts that which in your blood and that bit and see that what the, your blood take it to all the parts of the body. That's the reason why you find very many problems in people's bodies. They have moving objects in their bodies. Everybody is having moving objects. Brethren, those accursed things, all those demons that were dedicated into your body, they can act as an open door. They can act as, as a loophole, a legal ground, a landing site for demonic activities in your body. That's the reason why you find people, they are always constantly attacked by evil spirit. They are constantly having many diseases, problems of all kinds. Of, I'm going to mention them. Why? It's because they have accursed things in their body. And I pray for you that the blood of Jesus may cleanse you from every evil spirit in your body. Those bodies, moving objects, some they cause importance, some they cause diseases in the bodies, and very many other things. Blethering, and the Bible cont continues to say that God hates people who does tattoo and body cuttings. In fact, my Bible clearly states that if you do them, they initiate you, they dedicate, dedicate you to, to the world of the dead. That's the, Bible why, that's the reason why the Bible says, never cut your body for the dead or do tattoos. Now, many times, body cutting initially dedicates people to the dead. This worship is called a necromancy, where they consult the dead, when they worship the dead. Many of you, you are constantly harassed by dreams of dead people. People who died ago, you are dreaming them, and once you dream them, whatever you try to do, it fails. Some even you have sexual dreams with dead people. Why? It's because you have accursed things in your body, in your life, in your families. Some you are constantly attacked by marine spirits. You are dreaming, you are always in water, moving in water, sinking in water, swimming in water. Why? Because of the accursed objects in your home. I was once invited to a certain woman's home. He had very many problems. His husband had left the home for no reason. He was feeling a smell of feces in her home, and the man decided to leave the home. But when we prayed, we prayed for some three days, and the Lord revealed to us they had brought some stones from Mombasa, those from, from that ocean. And those stones were a point of contact for my spirits. This woman was dreaming mm, white um, women with long hairs coming into her home. You know, brethren, those are the stones which I don't say that all stones were dedicated to evil spirit, but those stones had initiated at home all the family members into the marine spirit, into my new world. And we are constantly harassed, and very many problems came into their home. Another thing which I would like to talk about if we go back where we read that these are cast objects, as long as we are in the Israelites, they could not stand against their enemies. What do we learn from that? You can constantly be attacked and be warned, and you are always warned. You are always defeated. Why? Those accursed things make you liable to destruction. I cannot exhaust them all, but I pray the Holy Spirit may reveal to you all the things in your body, in your home, in your marriage, in your place of work, in your offices, which has caused you to be liable for destruction, which has caused the Lord to deny you to forsake you, which has caused the presence of God to lift off your life. Now, these are the things that come from having accursed things or objects into our lives, or bad objects in our lives, in our bodies, in our family. Some, they cause barrenness and miscarriage. I've given it to some about that. And other things, they bring constant attacks of evil spirits. You chase them, they come back. One day the Lord gave me an illustration of feces. I was just chasing our flies when feces was there. But the more I chased flies, the more they could come, constantly come back. Someone told me in the dream, first remove that fishes, then cleanse that place, then if you chase away the flies, they will go. Bless them. There are things in our lives that smells, that have a good smell to demonic powers to intrude, to come into our lives. Another thing which these accursed objects brings, they bring poverty. Poverty. It depends to that accursed thing 
which you have. Let me give you an example. There was a place where they invited me to pray for a home. But this man was seeking riches from evil spirits. And he brought a certain stick from Tanzania. He buried it in underground in that house. That house got very many problems. All the cows died. All, everything they had, source of income, collapsed. Why? Because that place had become an altar. It had become a place of evil spirits. Another thing is nightmares. Many of you are getting dreams when evil men are sleeping with you. Dreams when animals are chasing you, birds are chasing you. Dreams moving, astral traveling, moving in spirit. Very many bad dreams, having accident I cannot explain. You are falling down. Very many dreams swimming in water. But when the cause is in your life, in your body, those are casting things. Blessing, we have spent much time attacking, chasing our demons. But when we have left the point of contact, the legal grounds of that evil speech in our life. Another thing is they bring prayerlessness and spiritual dryness. Many times you, pray, you go to church, you pray so much, you come back, you cannot even pray for five minutes. Why? There is something evil in your home, in your life, in your mind, in your body. Another thing they bring is disunity and confusion, more especially in marriages and families. Brethren, you find every time you are quarreling with your husband, with your children, with your wife, you are quarreling. There might be something evil in your house which brings the spirit of disunity and confusion into your family, into your marriage. Another thing, untimely and abrupt death. Brethren, these accursed things, they can cause, they can sacrifice. The, in fact, some of them, they, they demand sacrifices, human blood. They cause untimely death to children, to men and women in that family, in the, even at the place of work. And I also appeal to those who have big offices, praise, please make an altar in your offices. You, there's someone whom you succeeded might have put witchcraft in your office, might have dedicated that chair, that house, that, that image in that uh, chair where he sits, which can invoke evil spirits in your office. It might be even witchcraft from your fellow workers, having jealousy because of favor you have to your bosses. But I decree that today you are getting deliverance in Jesus' name. Another thing that can bring, it can bring our children to become very stubborn and unruly, those accursed objects in our homes. Another thing, chronic diseases, which also brings poverty. Blaven. They are, are you having any diseases in your life, in your body, in your home? It doesn't go. Today they choke, they give it another name. The other time they give it another name. If they call out to, they check your blood, they have, they give them a different name. Why? They are accustomed things in your body. body. But I decree in the mighty name of Jesus that I flush out every evil out of your body, out of your blood which may have entered the through by body cutting. Another thing which I would like to talk about as I'm concluding, uh, Second Chronicles chapter 34 from verse 1. Second Chronicles chapter 34. We want to learn and imitate from this man called Josiah, the way how he saw to God. Josiah, with the Bible says that he became a king when he was eight years. He began to rule and he began to seek God at the age of 12. And at the age of 16, he began to purge, to cleanse his life from every covered images, from every molded images, from every uh, Asherah pose, and so on. But there's something we learn. The first four years he sought, he sought God just to reveal it to him, the things that he had to destroy. Blessing, we need to go to our knees and ask the Holy Spirit, ask God, what are the things in my life, in my mind, in my home, in my offices, which are, are cast, which act as a point of contact, which are legal grounds of the evil spirit, which invite the demonic activities into our lives, into our homes. This man, after identifying all the evil in the land of Israel, I pray that the Lord may raise a king, a president in our nation, like King Josiah in the times of Israel. I pray that the Lord may raise. And I also appeal to our ministers, to presidents, to, 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 to fight against witchcraft. This is the cause of poverty and all the problems of our nation, Uganda, our families, our clans, and everything. It has even hindered development in our nation. Now, after this man, after identifying the things that were to be destroyed, 
which we need also to do, he began the work of purging the land. He began to destroy everything. Blazing, those idols, those accursed things, they act as altars. They act as point of contact. They defile the place where they are. They, they don't allow the presence of God to abide in that place. He began to destroy them. And after destroying all those, he even destroyed them, and even destroyed them, and even he went as far as the grave of graveyards of those people who sacrificed them. Blame them. After he did that, he began to repair the house of God. Blame them. We want to repair the house of God. We want to cleanse our land. But there are things which are evil, which are accursed. I want also to continue as I'm concluding to speak. When Joshua called the family of Achan, he paraded them, he sat into their belongings, and he found those things. He destroyed them, he sanctified the people, and the Lord gave them victory over Jericho. Believe him, many of us, we are prone to evil. Many of us, we are always attacked. We are always bewitched. We are, every time where you go, you are bewitched. Every time where you go, you are, you are cheated. Every evil is being done to you. There is something wrong in your life. You need to ask the Holy Spirit. Leave you to me. It might be a sin in your mind. It might be an accursed object. You need to ask God to reveal to you the things of Akan in your life so that you may destroy them. I want to conclude that if you are to cleanse and purge your house, you need to call upon the blood of Jesus because the Bible says in Revelation chapter 11, verse 12, that we overcame him, 12, verse 11, that we overcame him by the blood of Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus that can will end every initiation, dedication of your home. It purges, it cleans the house. Another thing, there are people who are dedicated to evil spirit to be sacrificed for other people to get riches. You might be constantly attacked by accidents, constant attacks of diseases and so on. You survive death narrowly. Why? Someone, maybe your fellow worker, your master, your parent, they dedicated you to evil spirit to be a sacrifice for demons, for them to get riches or to get fame, prospite, and so on. I want to let you know that the blood of Jesus, if you call upon it, it will end that uh, sacrifice, that accidents, that opportunity. Another thing, the Bible says that our God is a consuming fire. And the Bible says that behold, you come before me. He's, he, he baptizes us with the Holy Spirit and fire. Believe we need to call upon the fire. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 3, that today you are going to cross over Jordan and enter into your land, into your promises. But I'm the Lord who go before you like a consuming fire. May the Lord go before you like a consuming fire. May he burn to ashes every evil that has been holding your life, every evil that has been terrifying your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for our nation, Uganda. I pray for everyone who has been, at, been attacked by evil spirit. May the Lord deliver you by the blood, by the fire. And I call upon the Holy Spirit to intervene to fight your battles. I, that rejection that has been on your life, I command to leave your body in now in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of retrogression, your dream going back to the place where you were born, to the schools where you studied, because of those accursed things, because your life were so tied, were dedicated, were convenanted to that place with an accursed thing. It might have been your cloth, it might have been your knicker, maybe you lost your shoes, the things they stole away from you, and they dedicated it, they initiated it as a point of contact to be with you. But I decree now in the mighty name of Jesus that let everything where they take it catch fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord may deliver you. That the Lord may deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we are conducting deliverance there at our church Maganjo. You might, you can visit us. Maybe you can call us let me repeat my phone number plus 256-773-3458 It's on WhatsApp. As I'm making a conclusion. We need to embrace the weapons of warfare if you are to get delivered. I told you, call upon the blood of Jesus to cleanse, to purge your life. 
The Bible says clear I sense the life of the flesh is in the blood. You can call upon the blood of Jesus to flush out every evil in your blood system, every disease in your blood system that might have been brought into your life by body cuttings, by the things they dedicated to you. Call upon the Holy Ghost fire. Whenever they bewitched you, whenever they catch you, call upon that fire. It will burn to ashes that place. Another thing, another weapon which we can use, let us call upon the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can deliver us. Let us also engage our angels. Say, my angel, my guardian angels, the angels which God gave us to guard us, that allocate, destroy every place where they bewitched him. And yes, God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you. God is going to deliver you. I'm encouraging you for you who are going through different kind of problems. You have been suffering with diseases. You, have, you don't know where they come from. There is something evil in your life, in your body, in your home, which has acted as a point of contact, but the Holy Spirit has sent his word to reveal to you because your time has come. I want also to encourage you with Jeremiah 32, 42. The Bible says, just as I brought all this calamity unto these people, so will I bring all the good things I have promised you. If you cleanse your home, if you purge your life, if you take our evil, the Lord will deliver you. He will do great and mighty things. He continued to say in Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21, that which proverb do you have, that the days takes long when the Lord doesn't bring to pass what he promised us. The Lord told them, God told them, time has come to fulfill every promise I've ever promised you. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the long-awaited promise of God come to pass before this year ends, before this month ends, before this day ends. May the Lord bless you, continue to bless you. Yes, you can visit us to our church there at Magandio, six and a half miles. Bombolo have written books of deliverance. And yes, you can visit us on my Facebook. You can look there, Moses Blessed. Moses Blessed. And you can also get our teachings on, on YouTube. As I'm concluding, may God bless you so much. I'm Pastor Blessed Moses Mutawaganya. I'm repeating my phone number, plus 256-773-3450-88. You are invited to our church. We have Sunday services, night prayers at Maganjo. God bless you so much. I wish you success, deliverance. May God give you authority and power to tread on every scorpion, every other. May you overcome every path of darkness in your life. May the fire of God fall down and cleanse your home, cleanse your office, cleanse your life, cleanse your children, and be delivered, and be totally delivered in Jesus' name. May God bless you. May the angel of the Lord guard you. May the angel of the Lord go before you and bring you to the place which the Lord has prepared for you. Be blessed. Amen. I love you so much.